Tanad Studios, and welcome to Let's Play Unreal World RPG. So, um, yes, last time, I remember, we were trying to kill stuff out in the woods, right? So what, what was going on there? So, lately I've been, you know, a little inactive, sorry for that. If you have any suggestions for games, make sure you definitely post those to me. Below. So what do we we have a soaked squirrel skin? We're obviously gonna have to keep tanning this until it decides that it wants to be done. And then we'll have a second squirrel fur blue loosely. So anyways, I actually didn't do the thing with the marker correctly <laughs> because I'm in dirt. So what it would I actually really have to do is kinda Come down here, chop down a tree, and move these up here. I'm just going to kind of randomly make this just so I can have this marked on the map. And then I'm going to build a shelter. Now this should, this should create it on the map. Now, yes, now it did, okay. So now, now it counts as um, a place on the map, which is what I wanted originally. So all this stuff will continue to spoil. We can use that to, like, lure people in um, to our camp. We can also make a bunch of, like, staves and stuff, I guess, if we wanted to. But uh, another thing that I want to do is I want to set up more traps, more useful traps. Because the traps that I have right now, they're not, not, not good at all. They're not the good kind. I don't like it. I need the good kind. It's the good kind. It's the good kind. Um, yeah, the good kind. So I need I need stuff that is actually gonna produce. Oh, we're running out of food. Do we have any more food? Okay, we have some smoked stuff, but I don't wanna. Anyways, we'll go out and set up a trap real quick. Come down here, um, and we'll set it up right here. Ooh, there's another one of those trees. So. We'll go to our handcraft options. Um, let's see. Let's see what um, kind of traps that we can actually build. We can make a trap pit. Um, we're going to need a shovel for that, though. <laughs> so we can't make a trap pit. Uh, a big deadfall trap? Maybe that's more useful. Except we need a lot of stones for that. I don't really have a lot of stones. Trapping... Build a trap fence. Uh, I'm guessing trap fences. Trap fences are kind of you put up like a row of fences, and then when stuff runs into it, it'll get stuck, uh, and it'll kind of just run in it, and then you can walk up, hit it. Those are very useful for trapping big things like, um, you know, those elk, the reindeer. Those are also very, uh, very, very good. Fox trap. That's not gonna do much. Can you do a small? We'll need to get a couple of branches. So, I believe these make branches. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're we're also gonna need a stone. Look at that stone. Bring it over here. Utility or well, oh my god, trapping. Small deadfall trap. And we'll set that up. Now, th I'm pretty sure this is just for really, really small stuff like squirrels, um, hares, any kind of really, really small animal like that. I believe that's what this trap is for. Don't know if this is anything's actually going to run into that, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely check that back. Uh, we're very hungry. Our food stores are low since I haven't been doing much fishing. I kind of expected these traps to do a little bit better than they were doing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and sleep for the night. Alright, so we need to fish. I'll, I can go ahead and drop off my rough yabalins, as well as dropping off a knife. Right there. And then I'll drop ten of these. Keep four of them on me. Keep them handy. Just in case I need them for any reason. Um, if I'm out in the wild, I see something floating around, like a squirrel. Set up a quick trap. Get out. Uh, come check it later. 
So let's just keep fishing and hope we catch a lot. I also, you know, I really want to lure someone out, kill them, and just to take all their their stuff. <laughs> I really just want to take someone's stuff right now. Because they will have, like, preserved meat as well as, like, water skins and stuff like that. And those are obviously very useful to me. Not right now, but uh, definitely will be later on. So. Actually, skins and stuff like that are probably still useful to me right now. Can we actually get all the way out here? Oh, we can't. If we could have gotten all the way out there, that would have been pretty awesome. Okay, so I think our malnourishment right now is really just screwing us up as far as trying to fish. I should probably build, like, a trap fence or something around my base. Or, like, a, a little small line of it. Just to try and draw in that elk. I really want that elk. Like... That thing has so much fur ready to just be tanned and so much meat just ready to be smoked and dried. It's unbelievable. Also, I might want to, um, because, what is it? What, I gotta see what month it is before I say anything. It's April. So I should be able to, like, smoke stuff or dry stuff, like, from the side of my shelter so like when i'm inside of my shelter i should be able to in fact dry food so i'm going to get a huge catch of like pike and then just smoke all of it or dry all of it really everything else i'm gonna roast and eat uh, i mean if i get a lot of like small or a lot of breams well if i get a lot of breams i'll also dry those any big fish that's worth a lot of um, nutrition. I'm going to use that. But none of this small stuff. Like, I want big fish to be dried. Oh, we're not catching anything. Oh, we fully recovered from starvation. Well, that was quick. There's the elk. We can hear the elk running around to our southwest. Take our nap and nappy for the day. Take a late night snack. So I... This doesn't seem like a very... Ooh, I should probably get tanning this. Oh, I believe it. That sh now it should be done. Do I... Okay. I've obtained a decent, decent, decent skin. Untouched. Regular squirrel fur. Um, so, fishing? Oh, I hope I, I need to catch a lot of this stuff. Maybe I should go down to a river. Maybe fishing at a river is way more efficient. We're getting some pike. We're getting some pike. That's good, because I do want pike. Now, the reason I don't like this is because I don't have to chase something around. I find chasing elk around until they bleed out because they're running away with, like, five of your javelins, five of your knives, and you lost ten of your arrows shooting it at them. <laughs> that is also one of the reasons I don't like hunting. Um, hunting humans is a different thing. I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I will do that. It's it's different then because usually I'm killing a Najerpez or I'm just going to kill a wild villager that I decide looks looks like he has a lot of stuff. Looks like a rich boy. And then I will take him out to the forest and we will have a little talk. And then he'll get wrecked. Okay, so I only want to cook everything that is not a pike. So I don't want to cook those. I can cook the perches and the breams. I want to save all the pike. I think these will last like, oh, five days before they'll go bad in my inventory. So I've also got to get working quick. 
on that. So I've got to catch, I want to catch about five, I'm going to say. I don't know if that's, that's what I should be catching, but. Um, I don't want it to rot before I can dry it, though. That's, that's a thing. Because this, this does last a long time. Or maybe, maybe I even have enough cords to just dry whatever the heck I get, so that we have a big food stockpile. Or maybe if I keep catching this amount of stuff, I won't have to. So it seems like using branches for firewood just to cook things is going to be a lot more effective. And I'm also going to um, just leave a tree really close to my house for winter. Using that tree to gather said branches. Okay, so I'm just going to um, dry the rest of the food that I've got here. Go ahead and get some um, get some more twigs. Or branches there. Take these back to our shelf. Ha! No, no, not no, not this again. Okay, good. Only went over. Only went over one that time. So we'll build a build a fire there, and we'll begin to cook. Now we're gonna dry all of these pike. Should be the. You should be outside of the building. The setting you are in does not read the requirements. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe I can smoke it. Maybe I can smoke it. Okay, that doesn't meet the requirements either. Well, that sucks because now I'm gonna have a bunch of rotten food. I hope this doesn't go rotten. Okay, so it looks like it can't quite dry that yet. I was wrong. I hope all this food doesn't go go bad. This is gonna be a lot of wasted food. I don't like wasting food. Eat some of my roti. But yeah, that's we're gonna have a lot of spoiled food to give away. I guess I could go check my traps now and see if I caught anything. Freaking out! Get out of here. nothing in there at least i don't think there is Let's see where's my other traps there's one right here i don't think anything's in it though yeah it's not looking like anything's in that one either so these are very ineffective you know i'm starting to get really confused Ooh, a squirrel Ooh, yes and i have a rock on me Okay, we just got ourselves. Ooh, and it's trapped itself in one tree that it can't move anywhere else. This is this is a pretty good scenario. Throw the rocks at it. I I, I wonder if my guy ever gets sad. He just kind of throws rocks at a squirrel till it falls off the tree. Throws the same one rock that he has. Was I using a stone last time, or was I using a rock? Because this is not narrowly misses. Well, we're narrowly missing. Okay, there we go. I hit it. Squeals in pain. It's kind of... Yeah, our guy must be really miserable throwing rocks at a squirrel to get it out of the tree just to whack it with a hand axe. Speaking of hand axe, we'll wield ours now so we can whack it when it falls off the tree. Oh, how is this thing not falling off yet? You know, I'm throwing my knife at it. There we go. Oh, it's beyond use. So this is just going to be a spoiled meat squirrel. I don't like that. Or maybe I'll treat myself to some like squirrel stew or something. There's, there's a trap there, but no, there's nothing in it. Oh, yay! Do we have a cold? Physician. Influenza! Even better! 
So we've just contracted a cold. Oh, isn't that just jolly? So I'm going to start a massive... Yeah. I think that now that I have all this food, I'm going to start a massive building project. And that stuff is... I mean, I could eat all this spoiled stuff. It won't kill me. If I really was hungry, I could eat it all. I have a buffet. But I'm not going to do that. So what I want to do is get a bunch of stuff, and I just want to completely, like, build a huge trap fence over here. Oh, my influence is getting worse. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm going to set up just basically... Basically set up a bunch of trap fences. Trapping. Build a trap fence. Oh, wait. Can't do that yet. I've never actually used trap fences before, but I've seen them being used, and they're actually pretty effective if there's animals roaming around in your area, and you're kind of in, like, uh, an area like me, where you're kind of just off on your own. They seem to work, actually. They, they work decently well. It's just that you have to come by and kill it. I think it can get out of the trap fence. After a little bit, if it's staying there, it can get out of the trap fence. So uh, we'll just continue to work on this for a bit. I mean, I'm not going to do too, too much work on it. I'll check it back in a while. But I, once again, doubt that anything will even be in it. But uh, you never know. Trapping. So I'm going to use the uncut trees to my advantage a little bit here. And just kind of conform and build to them. I wonder if I can stick myself with this. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I can't. Yeah, too bad I can't stick myself with this. <laughs> I'd probably already be dead by my own traps if I could. So anyways, we'll just continue doing this. Oh, did I try to pick that up? Why did I just pick all that up? I want to pick that up. I want to move it. So yeah, I might be doing a Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode Let's Play, because, you know, Dwarf Fortress is one of the first indie games that I actually began to play and have fun with. And it was kind of that starter game for me. That's why I really like it. But it's just, Fortress Mode is really long and boring the way I play it, at least. And I think being an adventurer, getting my limbs chopped off. If we could get like an adventure vampire, that would be that would be awesome. Because I've never actually done that either. But you can contract basically like you know what do they call it? Vampirism. Whatever. So let's um let's just make a quick shelter here. Let's just make a shelter here, just for the heck of it. In case we want to sit out and hide by our wall. Um, fell this tree. So yeah, there we go. Now this wall obviously isn't going to be done for a long time. And I plan this to stretch a long while. Oh, this is going to be amazing. <sighs> Our influenza is still pretty bad. Can we actually... What do we need to... There is no external treatment for influenza. So we kind of... I guess we could see a sage. Maybe that works. Or a... Cr Ooh, I just saw an animal. I just saw an animal run by. But I... Ooh, there it is. There's the elk. An elk. I'm, I'm catching you. You know, one way or another, you're going to be mine. You're going to be mine. You may, you may not think it now, but you're, you're mine. You're mine, elk.
Yeah, see, it's still around here. It's like an annoying thing. So I'll have it stretching all the way up. Like, you know, all the way up to the ocean. And then I'll have it stretching all the way back there. And then it'll just go straight across to the mountains. Where the mountains border the ocean. So then I'll have a huge trap fence wall. And if anything gets stuck in it, I guess I'll have to patrol it. Yeah, and whatnot. But uh, let's let's just take... See, what do I make clubs out of? Let's see. Weapons, club. I mean, it's slender trunks. So let's just go off in the middle of nowhere. Really? And start crafting a bunch of, um, a bunch of clubs. Because I believe sometimes they will ask for extra weapons, and I just want to give them the most poor, easy made weapons. <laughs> I, that might sound a little mean, but they're not getting quality if I'm going to end up killing them. Now, I don't think that, like, I think I get the items back when I kill them, um, aside from all the food. Or I might just get everything that I gave them back when I killed them. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure on that. But I'm also going to need to find a settlement. Probably use that raft a lot. Before I can even start gathering up followers. And we're really fatigued here. Let's head back up to our base. Drop all of our clubs here. Oh wait, no, I don't want to drop all my clubs there. I drop my clubs here. We'll go to bed. And now we're down to our big steamy pikes. Let's actually try to go hunting. I'll just see if I can get a squirrel or a lynx. Which is, I think... Okay, I don't think that thing can actually hurt me, can it? It's inside of a tree. I think it's dangerous. Oh no, I missed. And yeah, I don't want I don't want my knife to get stuck in this bugger. I wish there was like like insects, I don't know, added into this game that were like termites that you could eat. It just basically easy food to get. It's not going to give you a lot of nutrients. It would take you a whole day just to gather enough for maybe an hour of nutrients. It doesn't have to be a lot. It could be the smallest amount. Like, you could be eating berries minus 10. And I'd be happy with that. Just if you have some spare time, gather those things up. And I, I lost the Linux. So I'm fresh out to the northwest. I couldn't possibly kill that with the hunting weapons that I have on my character right now. Let's see, is that a, okay, that's my trap. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of wildlife. It's just really big game, and my influence is getting worse. I. Hope influenza can't kill me. Maybe it's because I have all this rotten meat laying around. That could be part of the reason why. Just maybe. You know what? I'm gonna take all these clubs with me. And let's let's go traveling. Why don't we? So I haven't actually found any villages, but if we keep following this down, this river is going to provide food for us and whatever the heck we need. So here's a settlement that we've encountered. Our first in settlement. Oh, these guys don't look Finnish. They kind of look Asian. No, no, no. I can see. They kind of do look Finnish. Ne you know, never mind. Okay, so these guys don't actually have shops or anything. So I'll have to talk to their people. And ask if I can trade items. Eight arrows now. A juniper bow, I guess. I guess if you want to trade for some clubs. Trade for some clubs. 
Ooh, he will do that. Let me think again. Offer. Um, this is a please me no. Uh, use cord. Loop snare. Broad knife. That's all I could think of trade. So maybe I should have gotten that juniper bow. Maybe instead of bowls, maybe um, clubs are a better trading item. But they do weigh a lot more. They weigh a ton more. So, anyways, nine arrows. I guess I could trade for arrows because, you know, I have a bow. Why not? Are you even... Okay, so just... No, get out of here. Your northern bow. Okay, you can screw off because you're going to trade me for anything. Oh, my God, you're not going to trade for that either. A hand axe? You gonna trade me for a hand axe? No. You're, you're go away. I don't want to trade with you. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> so this is a very small settlement. It's just only one tent. I could probably take these guys out. There's a, there's a shaman. I'm gonna talk to him. Greet. Please do heal me. So I hope that will um lighten up my influenza. But yeah, this is a pretty small thing. I could... Ooh, there's another one up here. Ooh, is this guy all alone? Hey, buddy, you all alone? I think he's all alone. I want to kill him, but... I don't think if I can... I don't think I can dispatch of him quick. Ooh, he's running away from the camp. Oh, no, now he's running back. <laughs> is anyone in the tent over here? I really want to kill this guy right now, but... Oh, there's a... His friend. Uh, something tells me that if I kill him, it's going to end my life. So I'm just going to get out of here and not get killed. We'll head back up the stream. We'll forest right near. And uh, we, d we can't kill him. Uh, see, I don't want to... If I throw anything at this, it's probably going to get stuck. Throw a broad knife at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not going to work. I'm not even going to try to throw it at them. These, the knives don't have a very large throwing throwing area. They basically, anything far away is going to drop really badly. Ooh, is there something back there? Something that I just saw? All right, never mind. So let's head back to base. Go ahead and eat, drink, sleep. So, yeah. Huh. Maybe I should continue working. I don't know. Maybe I should just do some more hunting. Really. Because I want skins. I want a lot of things that, um... Ooh, we've been cleared of our influenza. So, I want a lot of things that can come from animals right now. Any kind of animal. Any kind of animal that isn't a bird, I'll, I'll take. Ooh, there's some reindeer up here. I hope... Ooh, I don't lose them, first of all. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, now, if I can get this guy stuck. Yes. All right, he's stuck. So, and I believe the... I'll just follow his tracks. Here. See if I can stick him again. Oh, no, I missed. Now, this is the tricky part where the tricky part comes in. Because, um, he, forest reindeer run in a pact. And I, I could get mixed up with the one that got stuck. And, in turn, be chasing a different one. That doesn't really... Ooh, there's sounds coming from the northwest, so I'm actually going the wrong way. I'm going to be persistent on these things. I, I really want all the stuff that it can give me. Did I? I don't, I don't see any tracks or anything. Yeah, 
I think I lost him. See if I can regain him. Very fresh. We'll just keep scattering the area. Let's get back up in the mountains and see if we can. Oh, we can't see him. Ooh, vagabond traders. Or foreign traders, actually, no. Um, yeah, let's see, these guys travel in big groups. Uh, ask help company. Interested? No, no, you, you just hate me. You want to trade? He has a ring hallberg. Chain mail. Right, thank you. Yeah, he, he does not. He doesn't want any of my, my, my trash. Oh, yeah. And uh, since I stuck that reindeer, I now only have two javelins. So I'm definitely going to have to be doing some more weapon crafting. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back out and uh, find it laying around dead somewhere. Maybe we'll just get it. We'll just sleep by the lake for tonight. Ooh, we got a sacrifice for a newly killed animal. Wait, what's... Let's see. Ritual. Permission to fall a tree. Supernatural. Guardian. Oath of iron. Sacrifice for a newly killed animal. Ooh. What's your... Okay, that's my trap. Yep. So let's just get back to base. And yeah, I'm going to call this an episode. So next next episode, we're going to have to do a bit of weapon crafting. I want a lot more javelins. And sticking that, that uh, reindeer was actually... A, sticking. <laughs> it's sticking. Okay, you know, <laughs> never mind. But uh, yeah, if I could just stay persistent on them or get this trap fence built, then uh, I think I would have a really good time. If you know like good hunting tips for me, please feel free. Comment them. I'm not a very good hunter. I find hunting very annoying in this game, but I want the furs. I want all the good stuff that comes along with hunting. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes, there will be a little playlist button right up here. And uh, you can go ahead and visit that. As well as our Facebook page and other Pikuzu Gluck in the description. This is Matt from Studio signing out. Bye-bye.